Here we will be looking at windows, uh, specifically looking at inserting them and changing their dimensions. Uh, so to insert a window, we go into architecture tab and into window. With window open, when you open up the properties box to select a different type of window, you can see there aren't many in there. So to get uh, a better range of windows, we go right at the top here in the middle uh, to load family, click on load family, and then when we're in the families uh, dialog box, scroll right down to the bottom and pull up windows. Uh, in windows, choose a window that you like. I particularly like the triple ones, uh, especially the um, this one here, the casement top hung center. So open that one up. And then once they've in, uh, loaded in, pull down your properties box. We've now got uh, a range of these uh, triple casement windows with some different sizes on there. Um, I can just go ahead and select one of those. So if I was to pick um, this one here, for instance, 18, 10 wide by 12, 10 high uh, and place that somewhere, I can actually place that window. You'll notice that Revit will actually center windows as well. We'll snap to a center, as you can see in this, at this point here. So if you want to center something up, you can. Uh, also note that the window actually sits on the outside skin of the uh, cavity. So when we're placing windows, uh, you can place it on the inside, as you can see here. You can also place it on the outside. Uh, make sure that you place windows on the outside. Um, once we've uh, got our window inserted, we can go back to our 3D view, and then you should be able to see um, the window sitting, window sitting in uh, our view there. Um, to actually change their, their dimension or, or, or the shape, um, we can go back into our ground floor. Um, if we select that window there, for instance, and pull this down, we can see that this is an 1810 by 1210. So that's 1810 wide, 1210 high. To change its size, um, we need to actually duplicate that window. So we're not going to change the size of this one, otherwise we'll lose this size here. So to change the, the, the parts of the component of that window, uh, we go into Edit Type. So we click on Edit Type for this particular window. And we've got this button in the top right-hand corner here called Duplicate. Uh, it's really important we duplicate. Uh, we actually, this is actually its title, this is not its size. So uh, when I retitle something, um, I like to try and keep as much of the original as possible. So if I was going to do a window that was going to say, for instance, two meters wide, I'd now rename this 2000 uh, by 1210 high. Um, I've not actually changed the size yet. I've, I've only actually changed its name. So to change its actual physical size, I need to come down here and look for width, which you can see is 1810, because that's what the original width was. I'm going to change that for two meters and click OK. Now, I've now got this window here at two meters. You can see this one's changed size, but this one didn't because that's the old 1810 window. This is now the one that's uh, two meters wide. And I can keep on doing that for any other window or any other door or anything else. So using edit type is where you actually can start changing the dimensions of windows and doors and other components. That's it.